Now I'm looking 95 to 10 miles out on the island. Boy. 95 Kennedy Tower, following Elbow 319 ahead, 1050. Hello, everybody. Welcome aboard. Welcome to North Island Naval Air Station in San Diego, and welcome aboard our Grumman F7F Tiger Cat. Big old Tiger Cat. Big old plane. Kind of, kind of weird when you look at it from the front. Kind of skinny. <laughs> it's about as wide as a man. How about that? All right. Uh, oh, we should have faced the other direction. I could take off over the ocean. All right. The Grumman F7F Tiger Cat was the first twin-engine fighter aircraft to enter the service with the United States Navy. It's designed for the new Midway class aircraft carriers. The aircraft was too large to operate from the earlier carrier decks. Although uh, delivered to the Marine Corps combat units before the end of World War II, it did not see combat service during that war. Let's uh, go ahead and run up our two Pratt & Whitney R2800-34W double WASP radial engines, 2,100 horsepower each. And into the sky like a rocket ship. Wow. All right, let's uh, cut that throttle a little bit. I was not expecting it to quite rocket off like that, but hey, so much the better. All right, Tiger Cat, little, <laughs> our big Tiger Cat. Grumman's aim was to produce a fighter that outperformed and outgunned everything around and additionally had good auxiliary ground attack capabilities. Basically, they were looking to create a Thunderbolt that was also a Mustang killer or a Hellcat killer or Corsair killer. Armament was heavy. We've got up on this nose cone, we've got four 20 millimeter cannons. Actually, I don't know if that was a nose cone. Nose cone might be 420, so hold on, let me look. Nope, I have no idea. It's got 420s and 450 cals. So 420 millimeter cannons, 450 cal machine guns. That's pretty heavy. As well as under wing and under fuselage hard points for bombs and torpedoes. Uh, we're talking like two 1,000 pound bombs under the wings or a torpedo under the body. Um, be interesting. Interesting to do a torp run on something like this. Um, I would think it would, would have been shot down very easily. This is one of the highest performing piston engine aircrafts with a top speed well in excess of any of the U.S. Navy single engine aircraft. It is 71 miles an hour faster, 71 miles an hour faster than an F6F Hellcat at sea level. Now this aircraft was not originally named the Tiger Cat. Nope, it was originally named the Tomcat, but that name was rejected as it was considered too suggestive. Uh, yeah, and we went and named the F-14 the Tomcat. Ah, uh, times change. Now all of this power and performance and armament was at the cost of heavy weight and high landing speed. However, that's not what caused this aircraft to fail its carrier, carrier suitability trials. It was actually the poor directional stability when it lost an engine as well as some arrestor hook problems. So initially this aircraft could only be used on land or as a night fighter with an APS-6 radar unit. At first these aircraft were single seat as this one is. Later they put a second seat in for radar operator. That became called the, that was designated the F7F-2N. The Dash 3 model was modified to correct the stability issues as well as the arrestor hook problems, but it failed its carrier trials again when it had a wing failure due to a heavy landing. Oops. Uh, the final version was the Dash 4 model. It did pass its uh, carrier suitability, but only 12 were built because by that time we were already moving on the jets. The only aircraft of this variety that saw action was the Marine Corps Night Fighter Squadron VMFN-513. They flew the Dash 3N Tiger Cats in the early stages of the Korean War. Uh, they flew night interdiction and fighter missions, and they also shot down two Polak 
Karpov PO2 biplanes. That was the only combat use. So despite being designed as a heavy ground attack and fighter, it didn't actually ever really do much. The crew is one, in the case of this aircraft, or two. Our maximum speed is 460 miles an hour, that is 740 kilometers an hour. It's got a 1200 mile range, that's 1900 kilometers. Very fast. All right, we're going to go land somewhere. I don't know where. All right, let's do our numbers while we're cruising in for a landing. One lets us look up. Okay, two gets us autopilot and nav. Three, okay, that's a good. That, that'll get us a uh, radar or GPS. There's our throttle. There's a big blank box. Uh, there's another big blank box. Uh, nope. And that's it. So... The two blank boxes were the MFP and the TCAS. Huh. Interesting. The interior of this aircraft looks, you know, relatively okay. Um, the lights on the, there's my mouse, there it is. These lights are a little bit insane, honestly. Landing gear side. We got avionics, which is, really it's, it's a very rudimentary virtual cockpit, but it's better than just an empty 2D cockpit. Right, there's a red line. Now, what is my airspeed anyway? <coughs> oh, who knows? Who knows? All right, let's get to the outside here. Do I have air brakes at all? I don't think I do. No. Oh, of course I don't. I actually was not expecting them. I do have flaps. And this Despite trying to dump speed, I still have way too much speed for the landing gears to come out. Ah, okay. There they go. <laughs> now we have to try to make this landing. <laughs> I have no idea where the radar radio is. <laughs> so, uh, can't even change that. I've noticed that my fuel has actually dropped a little bit. <clears throat> so we actually did burn a good good little chunk of fuel on that little uh, takeoff hop around uh, San Diego. <clears throat> All right, let's see if we can land this plane. Woo, let's not do that. Probably cause our death. <laughs> She does actually have a good bit of flap on her. All right, let's see if we can actually make make this landing. <clears throat> I have I have some severe doubts of my abilities here, but it'll be the first time that I pulled off a crazy landing. Oh, we're floating now. There we go. No reversing prop, of course, because we wouldn't have them on this aircraft. <coughs> oh, look at that. Our cockpit opens up nicely. Very nice. And we'll shut her down as we're cruising in. All right, so there we go. This is the Grumman F7F Tiger Cat. A lot of you asked me to do this one, and here you go. This one is the one I could find. Is it perfect? No. But it might be a great addition to your hangar. The link is in the description, as always. I've been Derek Tevers. This has been your Flight Simulator X Plane Spotlight, the Grumman F7F Tiger Cat. Until next time, game on and be awesome, everybody. Oh, 1283, Kennedy Tower. Greetings. Falling heavy, rolling 767, touching down. Caution, wake turbulence. From 05012, number 24, right to left. Going for right, the pull over. Hey, Lima Bravo, traffic just north of the airport, obstruction along the track, reading a helicopter, and under defeat, yes, you in sight.